Hi, this is Rose with Remodeling Wizards of Maryland. On today's episode, we have three topics for you. First up is a this or that, where we compare different home improvement projects to see which one has the best return on investment. Next up, we ask the contractor, who exactly designs a kitchen when you do a kitchen renovation? And lastly, we're gonna define the term subcontractor. Stay tuned. This or that home renovations. This is the best return on investments according to the National Realtors Association's 2022 report. Bathrooms versus kitchens. Kitchens, they're at 75%. Bathrooms are at 71% return on your investment. What about a basement conversion versus an attic conversion? It's the basement conversion. A basement is at 86%. The attic conversion is at 75 What about fiber cement siding versus vinyl siding? It's the fiber cement siding. The fiber cement siding has an 86% return and the vinyl siding is at 82. Today on Ask the Contractor, we'd like to know who exactly does the design for a kitchen remodel? There's a lot of people involved in the remodeling process. So who exactly is the person who would redesign a kitchen for you? John? The typical kitchen uh, in the residential setting, you would either start with a designer, person can come in and help you with selections and colors and, and layout. You can even go to your cabinet supplier. Cabinet suppliers are equipped with uh, CAD drawings they, where they can actually draw in where the cabinets go and do 3D renderings. And then the other option is to find a contractor that can do any of those things. And many times the contractor either works with the cabinet supplier they work with a designer or they work with an architect to get the design done. I would suggest start with the contractor that you select and see where it takes you from there. It's Terminology Tuesday, the day of the week where we pick a construction term and we talk about it. Today's term is subcontractor. John, can you tell us what a subcontractor is? Sure, a subcontractor that's an individual that a general contractor, the person that you would hire is typically the general contractor. That general contractor will have some in-house people possibly that do the work, work directly for the general contractor. And if they don't have the skill set, what they'll do is they'll go outside and they'll hire a subcontractor. So they may hire a painter or an electrician who doesn't work directly for the general contractor. They're a whole separate company that the general contractor hires to complete the work. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe to our page.